Hi, I'm Niall from Lena. And I'm Sale from Lena. And today we're going to show you how you can run the same Linux command line program on Windows, Mac, OS, and Unix. With Lena, we're bringing the entire history of open source command line utilities to Windows, Mac, OS X, and other operating systems. And the reason this is exciting is this history is 30 years old and includes thousands of applications that have been built to solve problems like managing your source code repository, uh, editors like Emacs and VI, utilities that allow you to look at your logs and make nice output for your logs that you can look at, that you can analyze later and of course applications like Lynx that allow you to browse the web from the command line. Today we're going to show you Lynx and we're going to show you how Lena enables Lynx to run on any operating system using the same binary. And we're going to start by showing you Lynx on Linux. And that should be the easy one because of course Lynx is built for Linux. That's right. But Lynx actually is one of those applications that doesn't always come on Linux. Lynx is an application that is often left off of the distribution. And as a, what that means is that if you want to use Lynx, you have to go out and find it yourself. And if you're used to using a, a program like Lynx, it, it kind of sucks when it's not in your distro and you want to go download it and compile it so you can use it again. That's right, yeah, because uh, even for people who are experienced, just the time it takes to, to download something, compile it, find all the dependencies, it's not just that it's difficult for people who are new, it's also very time consuming for people who are very used to the process. And Lynx is actually a pretty complicated one, but even a really simple one, if you're trying to explain it to a new Linux user or you're talking on the phone or something That's like right. that, it's going to be hard. With Lena, this isn't a problem because Lena enables you to use the same binary, the same application on Windows, Mac OS, and Unix. And what that means for open source developers is they can actually distribute their software as a single binary and anyone on any operating system can, can use it. So why don't we start right now and start running Lena, uh, start running Lynx on Lena. Let's actually show this in action because that's the best way to understand what's going on. So right here, I have a USB key and on this USB key, is the Lina, Linux Lina executable. So that file is called Lynx.lina and it's just a normal Linux executable with a little bit of extra functionality rolled into it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the Lynx.lina binary to the local directory so that I can run it. So let's do that right now. Now I'm going to go ahead and start up Lina. And then the next step is the easy one. Instead of all the compiling and all the installing and all the dependencies, I just type lena-install and I install lynx.lena. And this automatically installs lynx on my machine. Now one thing that's really nice about this is that when I want to run lynx, we actually create a little executable that calls lena lynx Lena for you. Because normally, if you're using something like Java or something else, you actually have to give the name of the runtime environment. But since we install this little executable, we can just run Lena Lynx uh, without having to type Lena beforehand. So what I can do, do right now is run Lynx. So now you just start up Lynx, and there you go, slash dot dot org. So basically, it's the same thing we just did, only now we're going to do it on Windows. That's right, and I'll hand you this memory stick, which has links.lena on it, and you can run the same binary on Windows. Thank you. So now I'm going to do the same thing Niall just did on Linux, but I'm going to do it here on the, on the Windows machine. I'm copying the exact same links.lena executable onto this Windows machine. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and start Lena. It's Lena minus S. You might notice that I'm using Sigwin here for the time being. Sigwin's a fantastic piece of software, and we're, it really has helped us a lot to get hooked up on Windows, but we're going to be phasing it out, and by the time we have a real release, we're not going to be using Sigwin anymore. Okay, so, Lena minus S, got Lena started. Now, Lena dash install Lynx, and Lena, Lynx is installed on Lena on this Windows machine. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and start Lynx. It's by typing links and typing the domain name O'Reilly.com and ta-da, we've got O'Reilly.com up on this Windows machine on links. And here's the memory stick. Thank you. And finally, here we are on the Mac. Okay, copying the binary. And I'll start Lena from the command line. Okay, Lena install links. 
and links. We're starting links. So once again, we have links up and running on the Mac, and here we can go and check the weather. And Macs don't normally come with links. Not at all. That's actually really great for me because I'm not at all familiar with the Mac with all the bouncing icons and everything. But with Lena, I can just go right to the command line, I type in links, and I've got a web browser. Yeah, yeah. I mean, stepping back for a moment, what's so exciting about this for me and I think for everyone working on this is we're bringing all of open source to Windows and Mac OS X. And in terms of the command line, we're bringing thousands of tools to developers and system administrators that they can use on their computer that have been developed over 30 years to enable them to increase their productivity. Yeah, it's really nice. Another thing that's really nice about it is the standardization aspect of it, which means that I, just knowing the Linux command line, I, with Lena, I can sit down at any computer and do my stuff on the command line. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> it's nice. It's nice. It's really fun. Yeah, we're proud of it. And if you're interested in learning more, you can go to www.openlena.com.